picks a fight with a female paparazzi? Sia Trump's Donald Trump. And Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes are about to record a duet. So what? what? We're about to break it all down on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. What's up, you guys? I'm Miriam Misa here with Jackie. You are watching the Daily Hollywood Rundown. And guys, listen up. This is like our second date because it's the second time we work together. I know. I'm so excited. What happens on the third date? Mm, who knows? But we have some really good news. Besides our date, we have more <laughs> in interesting information for you guys today. Let's get started. Alrighty, so Kylie Jenner posted up a Snapchat. And you know, when you post up your personal information 24 seven, you're bound to do something really stupid. Or in Kylie's case, often. Or often. And Kylie <laughs> Jenner just posted up a Snapchat where she is basically calling a paparazzi the B word. So in the video you see her, she's recording this woman outside and she's a paparazzi and she says, I think they're in the drive through of In-N-Out. I know. Which was my favorite part of the video. Right, yummy. But she says, no woman should be a paparazzi. This woman is such a B. Like, what are you doing with your life, girl? And a lot of people are getting really upset about this because, hmm. one, we all know Kylie Jenner for her, her campaign, you know. Anti-bullying. Anti-bullying, and here she's kind of bullying a woman, and not only that, she's kind of digging at her for being a woman and being a paparazzi, which doesn't make any sense. I have a lot of mixed feelings on this. Can I break this down? Please break it down. Okay, so I don't yeah. think everyone's accusing her of bullying. She wasn't bullying this girl because she wasn't confronting the girl. She said it in the privacy of her car and Snapchat, but it's not like the girl was there to hear it. Number two, some people called it racist. It wasn't racist. It yeah, was, no. however, sexist. Yes. I'll be honest, every time I've seen a female paparazzi, I've also thought that's kind of bizarre, but not because I have different expectations of men and women, mm -hmm. uh, but you just don't see a lot of female paparazzis. It's kind of a heartless job because you go around stalking celebrities right. and you generally see men do it and not females. I guess you normally think females have a little more empathy. But it is kind of bizarre when you see female paparazzi. Aside from all of that, regardless, I think Kylie Jenner's Kylie Jenner. If you're going to go out, she wasn't bullying her per se, but she's saying something very harsh towards her. And if you're going right. around trying to make this image where you're giving back to the community, saying don't bully, don't say mean things, I get shamed all the time on Instagram. Right. Don't say mean things about other people. It just, it kind of overshadows all the nice things she's doing, in my opinion. Would it be better if she'd said any paparazzi's a b whether it's a female or a male? Yes. There you go, we settled it. <laughs> now speaking of Kylie and Kendall and the entire Kardashian and Jenner clan, mm -hmm. these guys put together a music video to celebrate Kris Jenner's 60th birthday. You guys, I'm not sure if I wanted my eight minutes back or if it was the best thing I've seen all day. Uh, so basically when Kris Jenner turned 30, she made a really crazy 1980s themed video mm -hmm. of like her and like how rich she is mm -hmm. and the labels that she wears. Yeah. And so they created a modern parody of Kris Jenner's original weird birthday video then. Oh yeah. And everybody is in it, including Katy Perry. That was odd to me. Yeah. It was interesting, yeah. Right? This video. What do you think of it? Um, Keep it real. I thought it was really cute and perfect for her birthday, yes. but I thought it should be more personal. Like, I wouldn't, have, if I made that video, I would give it to my mom and the family would see it. The fact that I saw it makes me feel uncomfortable. I think well, it's weird. Well, it is the Kardashians. I know, but I just, you know, the Givenchy and this and that, I'm just like, oh gosh. You know what, for the rest of us who, <laughs> you know, make 50K a year or something, watching that video is just kind of like, all right, keep showing off all that right, money you have. Right, and was it just me, but I thought that the sisters kind of made it about themselves. They had like a little cameo at the end. I'm not That's trying to be true. bashing on the Kardashians and Jenner's day, but I just thought that the video was a little ridiculous. It'd be cute to see our version of the video. It would probably be like, Forever 21, <laughs> wet <laughs> seal, <laughs> right? Aldo's clearance rack. Right. Yeah, we're <laughs> friends, we love ya. <laughs> Why don't you guys take a look at Katie's uh, cameo. Who gives a f how old you are because you'll be forever young to me. Okay, so Katie was great, but what can make this video any better? What? Caitlyn Jenner, of Ooh. course. Let's take a look. I love my friends. <laughs> there you go. She loves us. To 
watch the full video, Google it, because I don't know if we're gonna have it in the comment, in the yeah, description. Just Google it. So, Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello are doing more than just being romantic with each other. Ooh, what They're does that mean? They're a new track together. Say what? Yeah, so we get a 15 second teaser on YouTube for a song called I Know What You Did Last Summer. Which, I wonder if it has to do with the film? I don't know, possibly. But regardless, just them doing a song together is exciting enough, so let's not even dive into it being part of the 90s film. You guys wanna listen to it? Do ya? I love the vibe of the song. Mm. Can't really tell whose voice is whose. It kind of sounds like a chorus of Camila's and then Sean strumming, strumming, stringing. What does it say? Strumming, strumming the guitar. <laughs> it sounds good though. Yeah, um, but I you love don't, it. We don't really know what it is mm. because when you watch the end of the video, it just says go visit this website, and then there's nothing there. Why are what are you guys doing to us? Mystery. But for those of you guys that are wondering if they're actually in a relationship, someone confirmed at E News, an insider confirmed that they are indeed a couple. So that's big news. And when an insider confirms at E, that's actually real. I've worked there and literally an insider representing the couple actually confirms the stuff, so. And last but not least, if anybody could trump Donald Trump, it is your girl. See ya. Say what? Okay, so Donald Trump was hosting Saturday Night mm -hmm. Live this weekend, and even though he hosted it and that was a big deal, the bigger deal was Sia's performances. She showed up, did two songs, mm -hmm. Alive and Bird Set Free, wow. and she wore this crazy wig, because she knows she's uh, right. known for her wigs. But what was really cute is the bangs took up half her face, so she painted eyeballs on her cheeks. So Creepy. you almost felt like you're looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Creepy. cute. I love it. Yeah, and then uh, she had an interpretive dancer doing this really passionate but non dancey routine. It was like. What I love about <laughs> Sia is that we always see something new and exciting from her. It's not something that we always see. She always comes up with innovative ideas. I love that. That's why I love her performances so much. Let's take a look at a little clip. With Sia, I suffer from the same disease that I suffered with Ariana Grande when she only showed the left side of her face <laughs> and I wanted the right side so bad. I want to see Me Sia's too. eyes. Me too! Let see your beautiful face! Come on! But I know you said that she trumped Donald Trump and I totally agree, but I do have to bring up Donald Trump's performance in the Hotline Bling parody. Did you see it? No, I didn't. It's incredibly funny. If you haven't seen it, you have to check it out. He. I like to see that he loosened up a little bit. More? More. He's already He was real doing loose. funny dance moves, like, you know, doing... Whoa! That's pretty good. Well, if you think my moves are good, watch Donald. You used to call me on the cell phone. <laughs> call me on the cell phone. I think that's just like the general like. Well, like it's like, it. it's like I feel like it's 1990s. Hey, Hudson, guess what? I scratch my boobs Please. with my microphone. He'll be like, "What? You have boobs?" I think things are getting heated today. I'm like, <laughs> I know. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know why you did punches and I did dancing. Like I, that was my way of fighting. <laughs> so now we have some hard hitting questions for you boop, guys. Boop, boop. Yeah. What did you guys think about Kylie Jenner's Snapchat? Did you think she was wrong? Did you think she was a feminist? Did you think that, hey, you know what? That's not hard hitting. I'm gonna get harder Ooh. hitting. Don't you really wanna see Sia's face? Oh, that is a hard hitting question. Oh, that was a good one. Thank you. Yeah, let us know. Yes, and tweet us, at Miriam Issa. Jackie Adenisi. And thank you for joining us on another Yay. riveting episode of The Daily Hollywood Rundown. Hope you like our Marilyn Monroe voices. So click to the left to hear Ariana Grande get called out by a talk show host. Or click to the right to see Justin Bieber talk about Kendall, Kylie, or Selena. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Mm.